Hey, good morning. Got a wet morning out here today. Woke up to thunder and rain. Oh, wow, it sounds awful nice. <laughs> Listen, that thunder roll. Maybe it's picking up. <laughs> that sure sounds good. <clears throat> Got coffee just about done in there. I thought I'd step out here and and uh, put some scriptures together before our grandkids got up and around. I'll come out here and see some good rain. That'd be pretty nice. We have Philippians 1, verse 10 here today. <clears throat> There's a handful of references to this from, uh, from Paul's letters. So, so, I think it's important that we dig through Paul's letters because the risen Christ revealed this to Paul. And so I'm always saying let's dig into Paul's letters and see what we got in here. Uh, so Philippians 1.16 of these references from Paul's evangel says these indeed of love having perceived that I am located for the defense of the evangel Philippians 1.16 for if I should be bringing the evangel it is not for me to boast in for necessity is lying upon me for if it were woe to me if I should be bringing the evangel. For if I am engaging in this involuntarily, if I am engaging in this voluntarily, I have wages. If involuntarily, I have been entrusted with an administration. In 1 Corinthians 9, 16, 17. For your, confirmate, for your contribution to the evangel from the first day until now, having the same confidence that <clears throat> he who undertakes a good work among you will be performing it until the day of Jesus Christ according as it is just for me to be disposed in this way over you all because you having me in heart both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the evangel you all are joint participants with me of grace <laughs> for God is my witness how I am longing for you all in the compassions of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1, 5 through 8. Now I am expecting in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to you quickly, that <clears throat> I also may be of good cheer when I know of your concerns. For I have no one equally sensitive <clears throat> who will be so genuinely solicitous of your concerns. For all are seeking that which is their own, not that which is Christ. Now, you know his testiness that as a child <clears throat> with a father, he slaves with me for the evangel. This one, indeed, then, I am expecting to send as I ever may be perceiving my course from the things about me forthwith. In Philippians 2, 19-23. So that, my brethren, beloved, and longed for, my joy and my wreath, be standing firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. I am entreating Eudea, and I am entreating Scythia, to be mutually disposed in the Lord. Yet, yes, I am asking you also, genuine yoke fellow, be aiding them, these women who compete together with me in the evangel with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the scroll of life. Philippians 4, 1 through 3. For all am I strong in him who is invigorating me, Christ. Moreover, you do ideally in your joint contributions in my affliction. Now you, Philippines, Philippians also, are aware that in the beginning of the evangel, when I came out from Macedonia, 
Not one ecclesia participant with me participates with me in the matter of giving and getting, except you all only. For in Thessalonica also you send once and twice to my need. In Philippians 4, 13 through 15, 16. And this I am praying, that your love may be superabounding still more and more in realization and all sensibility. For you to be testing what things are of consequence, that you may be sincere and no stumbling block for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that is through Jesus Christ for the glory and the laud of God. Philippians 1, 9 through 11. For we are not daring to judge ourselves by or compare ourselves with some who are commending themselves. But they, measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves with themselves, do not understand. Now, we shall not be boasting immeasurably, but according to the measure of our range, which measure parts God parts to us, to reach on as far as you also. For it is not as though not reaching on to you, we are overreaching ourselves, <clears throat> for we outstrip others even as far as you in the evangel of Christ, not boasting immeasurably in others' toils, yet having the expectation your faith growing to be magnified among your among you superabundantly, according to our range that so as to bring the evangel beyond you, not to boast in another's range over that which is ready. Now he who is boasting in the Lord let him be boasting. For not he who is commending himself is qualified, but whom the Lord is commending. That's Second Corinthians two twelve through eighteen. Therefore, having this dispensation, according as we were shown mercy, we are not despondent, but we spurn the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness, nor yet adulterating the word of God but by meditation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in God's sight. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 1 and 2. <clears throat> Those are the references to Philippians 1, verse 16. So I won't put any additions to that. That done pretty good. Now it's starting to get light out here, isn't it? <clears throat> I got up at, uh, it was dark, and uh, you hear the water running off the, the, out the downspouts out front. It was over shooting them. <laughs> it's got a pretty heavy rain there for a little bit. But anyway, it's time to get up and get out. See what God's got for us today. Looks like it's going to be a positively awesome day. <laughs> anyway time for short hang in there Marsha and I love y'all grace and peace let's go see what God's got for us today and we'll talk to y'all tomorrow see you then <laughs>